Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So today's topic of discussion is why we keep failing at dating and relationships. Make sure you stay tuned. I have four reasons. All right, so welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. Why do we keep failing at dating and relationships? Let me just say, if this is your first time here, or you've been coming, but you have yet to hit that red subscribe button, hit it now. <laughs> if you're liking my content, make sure that you give me thumbs up. Now, on to why we keep failing at dating and relationships. I'm giving you four reasons. The very first one is because we are selfish. <laughs> we are selfish and we have this I mentality in a we community. So you are all about you even though you're trying to have this wonderful relationship and if you are all about you you're not going to have a wonderful relationship because you do come off as very selfish everything has to be on your terms you don't want to go and do anything unless you want to do it unless you feel like it that's not a we mentality you don't want to help out everything is all about you so if you are not making any sacrifices for the relationship especially where the person where he or she can actually see that you are making a sacrifice for them yeah they not gonna stick around too long for that they just not we all want to feel important and we all want to feel like we are part of the team a part of the community within our household so it has to be a we not an i it's not about i any longer when you are in a relationship it's all about we one of the next things is because our expectations about what a relationship actually is and how it's supposed to be are too high. I blame it partially on the movies and everything that they portray because the way that it is in the movies is not the way that it actually unfolds in real life. It's not. <laughs> Take the good with the bad. Lower your expectations. Don't think that everything is supposed to go a certain way in order for your relationship to be going good. You're going to fail by doing that. One of the third reasons. I'm sorry, the third reason is if the person has an annoying habit that you feel or that they show, rather, that they show early on, and it, it just annoys the crap out of you man we run real quick real quick this is not a total representation of who the person is but we don't even give them a chance like i told you in one of my other videos my pet peeve is when i hear somebody smacking their food i'm no different if you smacking your food when we were out on a date i'm probably super turned off I'm no different. I'm in the same category. I'm just saying. We get annoyed so quick and we be ready to run for the heels. Real quick. Real quick. Okay? <laughs> the very last thing is because we expect everything right now. We live in a society where we get everything super quick. And we expect the relationship to grow and mature just as quick. And when it's not moving as fast as we think it should move, we're ready to run. That's not the way it happens. The relationships that you see where um, uh, uh, the man and woman are just very happy, they're very still, very um, flirtatious and playful with one another, with one another, they went through some things to get there. And it didn't happen overnight. So you want that type of relationship, but you don't want to sacrifice and put in the time, energy, and effort to get that. Am I preaching? Yes, honey. <laughs> Slow down. It'll get there. You have to go through some crucial steps before it gets there. All right? Those are the four reasons why we keep failing at dating and relationships. I want you to think about it. Have you done any of those things? If so, make a comment in the description and make a comment in the uh, comment section below. I would like to hear some of the things that some of you guys have done. Like, because I've heard some people say his, his, his shoes ugly. They gone. 
<laughs> they laugh too much. Like like a guy told me that before. I laughed too much. He ain't want to date me. I was like, oh, dude, die. I know I know that's harsh. I know that's harsh. He didn't die. I'm just saying, like, bye. <laughs> Sorry that you are a crab and I'm not, okay? <laughs> it's funny because later on that same dude tried to come back and tried to date me later on. And I was like, I thought I laughed too much because you know that ain't going nowhere like I ain't changing me for you like, dude. Anyway, moving on. I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Too big a salute.